We've been covering here, of course, the unrest in Portland, which led to one of President Trump's supporters being shot and killed over last weekend. Well, the suspect in that shooting has now himself been killed uh, as law enforcement tried to apprehend him. Uh, according to the law enforcement agents on the scene, he produced a weapon mm -hmm. when they went to arrest him, and that is when they shot and ultimately killed him. Yeah, that's right. So according to this, we don't we don't know which agency, which was in charge of apprehending him. Witnesses on the scene say that it was likely the United States Marshal Service, which is charged with capturing federal fugitives, indicating that he might have been charged with a federal crime or that he crossed state lines and was a fugitive from justice for that suspected crime in Portland, Oregon. Now, according to this, this is from the New York Times who spoke with a witness on the scene who is a neighbor of Mr. Reinhold. They say that they he witnessed, he's a next door neighbor, he witnessed Mr. Reinhold or he calls a man backing away from his house where he was trying to be apprehended with a semi-automatic rifle before he got to a white pickup truck. Now, law enforcement agents say that they shot and killed Mr. Reinhold after he was inside the pickup truck or near the pickup truck while he was holding a gun. Now, it's not confirmed, but this is a neighbor who also says the same thing. Other neighbors say that they basically just heard a bunch of pop pop offs, but this is the one person whose account seems I'm not biased, but at least has an account from the scene. And we're going to learn more a little bit about this. Yeah. But what's crazy about this, Crystal, is literally hours before that he was killed, he gave an interview to Vice News where he claimed self defense about that situation in Portland. Let's take a listen to that. I could have sat there and watched them kill a friend of mine of color. But I wasn't going to do that. You feel that it was totally justified? Totally justified. Had I not acted, I am confident that my friend and I'm sure I would have been killed. And what we do know from the apprehension is the task force that was attempting to arrest him included members of the U.S. Marshal Service, Lakewood Police Department, Pierce County Sheriff's Department, and the Washington State Department of Corrections. My understanding from other reporting was that the U.S. Marshals were actually not the ones who ultimately uh, fired and killed Michael Forrest Reinhold here. But, you know, needless to say, as we sort out the details here and very careful in what we know and what we don't know, um, it certainly doesn't help to calm tensions when you have a lot of mistrust from the left sure. and law enforcement and an incredibly volatile situation on the ground. Um, so this is a fairly dramatic development. And just to be clear, you know, Mr. Reinhold has been very vocal in his support of Antifa. Um, he's been very vocal about how he thinks the country is a powder keg. New York Times has a quote from him here where he said, uh, that things would have to get worse. Things are bad right now, and they can only get worse, but that is how a radical change comes about. He was a fixture at protests in mm. Portland providing what he said was security. So um, just bringing to you the latest developments here, and we'll certainly see Yeah, that's right. It. it could have the potential to ignite. Uh, we'll see. We'll follow the facts, and we'll bring them to you as we get them. Absolutely. We'll have more rising for you after this.